Some of the communities I've visited have had as small as a five child classroom or as big as 500, but every time it's just as valuable whether there's five or 500 of them. Showtime is still 9.15. They get an hour of science with Science World. We bring the coolest stuff we can. It like opens up a whole new perspective of science to you. You just like go to bed thinking, wow, how does that light turn on? Does that use science? Or how does my alarm clock turn on? Does that use science? Like with the wires and stuff? My favorite thing is going into a smaller school and they like go berserk when we come in and you kind of feel like a rock star. I think it's really obvious when you see something exciting like this, you can see that science is all around us, that it's important to understand it, and, it's, and that you can understand it. That, that the whole cool factor is super important to making that bridge. Science is important because if you don't have an inquiring mind, we aren't going to have the caliber of new discoveries and exciting things that, ha that have been happening in this world. I'm never going to think the same again. I'm always going to be thinking about science. In school, if somebody just like kind of writes on a sheet of paper, they don't find it interesting. But in shows like this, it shows that science is kind of fun and that it's not just something boring. It's something that people would want to do. And every time Science World comes, they do something totally amazing. Even if sometimes you have to clean the Coke spray off the off the ceiling. We have some resources to leave with you guys. Uh, some posters. We have a variety of different programs that we offer for elementary students, high school students, teachers. It was a great workshop and um, gives you a lot of ideas for different age ranges, different age groups that you're going to be working with, and really some great tools for starting conversation in the classroom and for getting those kids to kind of take the activity to the next level. To meet the people who are actually coming up with this stuff and take part in it and everything um, just kind of gives you the extra push to actually then follow up, go online, see what's there and really take advantage of everything that you have to offer. Science World on the Road is imperative for students who live north of Hope. Many students do not have access to anything like this so when um, people walk through the door of Science World and they pay their admission, a portion of that admission cost actually goes to funding uh, outreach around the province. We would like children to think of going to Science World as as important as going to a Canucks game when they go to Vancouver, if they should get that opportunity. And you can go back to your crowds of adoring fans. Informal science education is kind of a great way to spark interest in children. So hopefully we can inspire the next generation of scientists.